Well, I decided to give a mobile NFL game a chance again after trying out NFL Rivals almost a year ago. Enter NFL Playmakers, a more streamlined game that is interestingly focused more on probability than anything else. It doesn't seem too predatory compared to previous titles, but there's still a focus on having better cards. Luckily, the rate at which you get cards is pretty fast and is fair enough in terms of odds, since they are all placed on a board for you to see. I spent roughly 4 hours with the game and the loop is solid enough for me to come back wanting more, even if it is as simplistic as the game can get. The game has two primary game modes. The first is Quick Read, which is an even more simplified version of the game that just focuses on your number being bigger than your opponent's. The second mode is Seasons or Drives, where you control either an offense or defense and have one drive to score or stop the opponent. All you really do is choose whether you think it will be a run or pass on defense or the play that you want to run on offense. The cards do the rest. Each play has two outcomes that can happen based on a percentage modified by whether you pick the correct choice and the level of the cards involved in the play. Plays can never be more than 90% likely to happen and less than 10%. Depending on how you perform or if you complete the objective, you are rewarded with more picks for your card pool. You can either get a player or gear, which can be put on players to improve them. That is all there is to it and the cycle continues. I liked how simple the game is to pick up and play. You are only responsible for one drive, so you can move on to the next match if you find that you are in over your head in terms of cards. The process and speed of getting new cards is great, considering you get several picks when successful and, on average, will get a new quality card every four games or so. It is always fun just seeing the numbers go up, and the allure of finding a new quality card is a driving factor for most. The game does hit a wall in terms of progression. There are three tiers of quality between each major tier, meaning that the third tier often feels like you are pulling a lot of cards that you do not need. The Seasons mode feels like it hits a big difficulty spike, forcing you to go back and play against real player decks before you can continue. Another big problem is finding real players that you can realistically go against. You will have to go through the process of looking at your opponent's profiles and checking their strongest cards in tier, because the visual cue that the game has is often inaccurate showing a lower tier than your opponents actually are. The game also has fixed animations for every play, meaning you will see the same animations repeatedly. Lastly, the gameplay itself can be frustrating. One of the worst feelings is picking the correct options and still having the play work against you, which is incredibly frustrating. Overall, it's not a bad game. There was so much opportunity and honestly some small tweaks like being able to get more than 90% when you do everything right or making the progression a little more consistent would improve it, especially once you get into the next tiers. You can still get lower tiered cards than the one you are currently in. Unfortunately, for these reasons, I cannot recommend it beyond those who really like football and games related to it. It is available on both Android and iOS. If you have any recommendations for me to review, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, stay tuned in to Gaming in the Moment.